Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica and today I'm doing a video that's been years in the making. I am doing a vanity slash like half beauty room tour because this is my bedroom and, and as you can see my makeup, vanity, and other displays take up about half of the room. So technically my room could be called a beauty room just because it's mostly beauty and books. It's a beauty and book room. So I'm not going to go in depth with all of my products because I do have a series coming along right now where I go through all of my products. I've done eyeshadow palettes, highlighters, contours, and bronzers, and I actually just filmed a foundation one. So if that one's not out yet, don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned. But I'm just going to show you how I store everything, where everything is located, and then also a little bit about my filming setup. Because I did get a couple of questions about that. Especially since, if you can tell, between like my early videos and my videos now, the quality has increased a lot. And that's just learning about like the placement of lighting. So we're going to go through that. So if you like vanity tours and you like room tours don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and when you subscribe don't forget to hit the bell icon if you haven't already so you're notified whenever i post a new video so let's go ahead and jump into this section right here first so all the way to the left this table right here is actually like a side table that i can pull up to my bed and work on i don't have any extra seating in my room other than the chair at my desk and vanity. So I do like editing at my on my bed just because it is a little bit more comfortable. I got this table at Home Goods and it actually has a plug in the back where you can plug in both USBs and power cords. So it's super helpful. So I keep that right there. You might see it in the back of my videos whenever I'm not using it. Normally I put my laptop there when I'm not using it. Right over here we have a bunch of my lip products. I love displaying them like this. It's just really cute. So here I have the box from the new Jeffree Star Cosmetics little mini lip bundles. I actually have the actual products here in this little jar over there. But I liked this box, I liked the red, and I kind of matched the rest of the decor to the red and the pink. So that box is empty, but it stays right there. Here I have all of my ColourPop Luxe lipsticks, and then a couple of full-size Jeffree Star liquid lips. Next, in this little candle jar in the middle, I have all of my ColourPop lips in the product in the jar right here, I have all of my Wet n Wild liquid cat suits. They all fit right there. In the jar right here, I have all of my Physician's Formula Healthy Lip products. I love that formula and I have a bunch of them. I can't recommend them, you know, highly enough. In the jar back here, I have all my miscellaneous like liquid lip and gloss products that don't really fit in here or in the next little lip holder I'm about to show you guys. Just a couple of random things. Some e.l.f. glosses, some NYX lip lingeries, an Ofer liquid lipstick. I got the Fenty gloss bomb in here, a pretty vulgar liquid lip. Just a couple of different things back there. So before I jump on to the rest of the display over here, let's just go through this little tower right here. Mainly I keep beauty products that aren't makeup specifically in here. Um, for example, like in here I actually keep all of my filming and depotting materials. I have like magnets down here. I have a speaker. I have my camera battery. I have my mic. Just a couple of other accessories. I like having it nearby just so that I can always reach for it right when I need it. The next two are actually empty. I'm in the middle of like reorganizing this. Here I actually have a thing about keeping packaging. So I have a couple of just empty boxes of palettes that I now own or this is like a blush and contour kit from Benefit. So I keep those there. I have both my Natasha Denona palettes in there. The next drawer down, these are all of my skincare and makeup samples. I have tons of samples just, you know, accumulating through online orders and oof. I always thought to myself, oh, just save it for when you're traveling, save it for when you're traveling. I used to travel a lot and now not so much. So I really do need to go through and use 
these samples. I was thinking of doing something similar to what LS does where she does sample Sunday. I don't want to like completely like rip off her video idea but I do have a lot of samples and I do want to get more use out of them. So I am thinking about doing a project sort of similar to hers where I just work through my samples and actually get use out of them because for now they're just kind of sitting in here. The next drawer down has a couple of empty bags. This one's adorable, it's a little cat. <laughs> Um, and a bunch of hair products. So I have a bunch of hair samples as well. Um, some mousse, I have some hair bands, I have a comb over there. I have a bunch of hair ties, a bunch of tiny little bows, and another empty bag. The next drawer down are all of my nail care products. I have all of my like press-on nails, glue-on nails down here. Keep all of my nail polishes over here in the back, along with some bottles of like cuticle oil, cuticle lotion, strengthening polishes. I got a cuticle lotion right there. This is just my little set of like nail clippers and cuticle pushers. This is actually an eyebrow set, but I keep it in here because it just kind of fits. Got a nail buffer, another nail set with another clipper, a nail file right there. And then this is actually like a hair remover. It like vibrates your hair away <laughs> here let me see if it just it goes like <laughs> it's actually kind of terrifying but it actually works it actually gets rid of your hair so i got that as a christmas gift last year so it stays here the next drawer i have another box <laughs> um, but i have more samples in here i have little mini like hand sanitizers, I have some face, well this is a face mask, this is a body lotion, and I have a whole bunch of fragrance samples. Again, I used to keep these for like, oh, you know Monica, when you go traveling you can keep them. But again, I don't really go traveling that much anymore, so I do need to go through and actually use all of these samples. The next drawer down has another empty bag and all of my makeup remover wipes. I go through these things like water. So I do need to keep a couple of backups. If you saw one of my skincare videos, I talked about how I buy these actually in bulk at Costco. And it's so much cheaper and they're my favorite wipes. So I buy them at Costco whenever I can. And then I also have a big bottle of the Beauty Blender Cleanser, which I use to wash all of my brushes. The last drawer in here is for all of my backup products. So these are all unopened, waiting to be used. I have a Smashbox Primer Water. I have a Too Faced Hangover RX Setting Spray. I have a bunch of lash glues. This is actually a really old palette that I can't bear to get rid of because it was like my first eyeshadow palette ever. <laughs> so that stays in here. I have an extra butter bronzer, a Boing concealer, I have an extra of my favorite Super Shock Shadow. I have a couple of Ulta concealers, some deodorant, some shaving cream, a lippy pencil that ColourPop actually sent me two of because my order was a little bit late. And then I have an extra hourglass powder down there, my absolute favorite. I'm close to panning like the whole product right now, but I'm waiting until I finish that one to jump in. And then a Physicians Formula Shimmer Strip. One of my favorite highlighters of all time. Love it. All right, so scooting on over to the shelf right next to it on the bottom shelf. I actually have my laptop carrying case. It just lives right down there. This Clinique box, I actually got a huge Clinique gift set for Christmas last year. And I keep all of like my face cloths in here. I only like to use them a couple of times before I wash them. So they, once they're clean, they get folded and they get put in there. Next, I have the wig box that my silver wig came in. I actually have it on a wig stand right now. And inside the box, I keep, I got a cheaper wig off of Amazon. So I keep that in there. Then I also have my wig caps. So those all stay right there. 
Next over, I have my everyday like hair care basket. I have my big round brush. I have a paddle brush. Excuse all the hair that's in them. I have not cleaned them out in a while. Um, I keep my Olaplex in here that I use. I'm actually really loving this product. It's helped my hair a ton. I keep some hair ties. I keep my clips. So basically, whenever I do my hair, after I wash my hair, I blow dry and straighten it. I just bring this whole basket downstairs to our bathroom and I do all my hair there. The next shelf up, I have a couple of decorative pieces. The little thing in the back, the orange thing, it's actually from a pop-in box and it says you'll be at home in my drawers. I just think that's adorable so I cut it off the box and I took it home. Over is my Burberry blush box set that I got for my birthday last year. It's this really pretty just light pink and it matches the headband perfectly so I had to keep it. I have my favorite flowery headband right there and inside this little mug that just says Ola I have all of my dirty beauty blenders. I only use them once or twice and then I put them in here and then I wash them all at once when I run out. Over here in this little basket I just have a couple of decorative like vase fillers and then in this good morning pumpkin mug I just have a couple of extra brushes. On the first shelf right here, I just have a little plaque that says I drink coffee for your protection, which is very true and I love that it matches my color scheme. Over here, I keep all of my little floral cat ear headbands and all of my face masks. I have a ton of face masks in here. They're one of my favorite things to do. I don't really see a huge difference like in my skin when I use them, but it's really relaxing, really nice to just lay down, put on a face mask and just like meditate so that's the main reason why I use those and then over here I have a big Sigma brush case I got with my Sigma I got one of the like full collection from Sigma their brushes and in here I keep a bunch of like backup brushes or brushes that I haven't used in a quite a long time up here on the top I have this really cute little calendar which I'm very lazy I don't always change it like every day but when I do I just love how it looks it's you know, little pieces of paper, you just change the date on them. I got it at Target in like the dollar bin. I just love it. Here I keep mostly all of my mini lip products. I have a couple of full sized in here as well, but for the most part, they're all minis. I got some MAC minis, ABH minis. This is YSL. We have some Burberry, Marc Jacobs. This is a Bite Beauty one. This is a full size Urban Decay. This is a full size L'Oreal, I think. Yeah, I think it's L'Oreal. Uh, Smashbox, this is a MARC lip gloss, um, this is from Clinique, I think that one's a Rimmel. So I have them all right here, I just love the way that they all look together. In this mug right here, this is actually one of the Taylor's mug from when she did 15 Days of Foundation. It says don't talk to me, it's 15 Days of Foundation, love it. In here I keep all of my lip liners, so got some Urban Decay, got a lot of ColourPop. Got some other drugstore brands in here, but they all live right there so I can see all the colors and pick them out. The next mug over is again one of the Taylors. This one says Heck Yeah's 15 Days of Foundation. Love it. And in here I keep all of my Jeffree Star like mini lipsticks. And they just fit perfectly in like two rows right there. In this like carousel kind of white thing. I keep more samples that I got. So up here, I keep all of my big samples. I have some hair masks, I have some face washes, I have some dry shampoos, got some hair oils. On the second row, I have a couple more hair masks. I've got a face oil. This is a nail polish and some face, this is a face mask and a moisturizer. And then on the bottom, I keep all of my clean beauty blenders. So I wash them all, let them dry, and then they all live right here. So then I take one, I'll use it, and then once that dries on my vanity, I put it down in the dirty bin to get washed. Okay, moving over to the main vanity. So I sit right there in my chair. Over on the left are my Alex 5 drawers, which if you've seen my makeup collection video so far, you'll know the bottom two are eyeshadows. The third one from the bottom are all bronzers, contours, and highlighters. The second one down is all foundations. 
and then the top one is kind of a miss a mishmash is that what it's called a mishmash i have some eyeshadow primers i have some eyeliners liquid eyeliner gel eyeliners i keep my eyelash curler some glue some tape um, sharpener the velvetizer powder because it just fits right there perfectly i have some lip scrubs from elf some from milani a bite beauty one some vaseline and some blistex over here are some brow products. I have a couple of pencils from e.l.f. I have a pen from Stila, some brow gels from Ulta. In the back there, I don't know if you guys can see it, I keep a lot of my single shadows right here, a lot of ColourPop. Um, I have some Geek Chic, I actually just did a video on all my Geek Chic products, so I'll throw that up in the cards. And then over here I keep all of my mascaras. I have quite a lot of mascaras. I really don't need to buy mascara again for like at least a year or two. <laughs> Okay, so moving on to my acrylic drawers that I have over here. On the bottom, I keep my Vera Mona color switch right there. I have some Q-tips and my makeup removers right there just in case I need to pull them out. The next drawer has some tape and then my big double-sided Z palette. I have all of my face powders and face contours in there. And then the other side has a bunch of highlighters. I love it that I can reach for this palette and have the majority- Oh no! Oh my god, that entirely just fell out of the pan. <laughs> that was a Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Oh no. Oh, oh, yep, we've- oh, we've got a huge mess. I'm just gonna put that back there. And take care of that another time. <laughs> In these two small drawers right here, I have all of my concealers right here. I have a pen from Chantecaille, I have some color correctors, I have some Ulta concealers, some e.l.f. concealers, and I also keep my Dermacol in here because I consider it more of like a concealer than I do a foundation. Over here, I keep a few miscellaneous lip products as well as some of the small samples that I got from Benefit. These are some of the blushes. This is the Rock Tour. This is California, Gold Rush, and then this is the Hoola Light Powder. I actually tried out the Hoola for the first time, and I hated it. It looked so orange on my skin tone, and I couldn't use it. I actually had to give it away to my grandma, who's using it now as eyeshadow. The next drawer up has all of my current setting sprays. I have one from L'Oreal. I have an e.l.f. Soothing Aloe Mist. I have a Milani Make a Dewy. That's a little mini MAC Fix Plus. The next drawer has all of my face powders, both pressed and loose. I have a couple mini Cover FX powders in here. I have a NYX Banana Powder, the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. That's a Clinique face powder. Below it is an e.l.f. face powder. I have another Hourglass down there. And then this is a Laura Mercier mini right there. The next drawer are all lashes. I have tons of lashes. I actually haven't been reaching for them much recently, but my favorites have been have been from Velour, the pair right there. I think it's another shot of Wispy is what it's called. I love that with the House of Lashes lash glue. Just works wonders. The drawer right here has all of my primer. So I have my open primer water from Smashbox. I have a bunch of little minis. This is from YSL. This one is from Bobbi Brown. I have Burberry down there. This is a Revlon Photo Ready Pore Reducing Primer. I have a NYX primer. This is a sample of the Becca First Light Priming Filter. I have the Cover Effects Mattifying Primer. And then a full size of the Burberry Fresh Glow Base. What's it called? Yeah, Nude Radiance is the shade. And then I got a little mini Hydrating Under Eye Primer from Smashbox. And a couple of other minis here and there. So I keep all my primers right there. I have my Blood Sugar Palette here on top just because I love the way that it looks and I don't want to put it in my drawer. Like I, I like having it right there. The two top drawers have all of my glitters. So over here... I have all of my Stila Glitter and Shimmering Glows. Love them so much, they got their own drawer. And then the drawer over here 
has all of my glitter liners and um, Super Shock shadows. Not Super Shock, what are these called? Supernova shadows from ColourPop. I also have a Shimmer Veil from Cover Effects in here. Some liquid shadows from e.l.f., some liners from e.l.f., and then a couple of the heavy metal glitter liquid liners from Urban Decay. On the side over here, I keep a couple of pens and then Sharpies. I do use this as a work desk as well. And I also do quite a bit of work here for YouTube. I do keep a couple of notebooks for my channel. So whenever I'm brainstorming ideas or, you know, when I'm really fleshing out a video idea, I'll sit here and I'll write it out. So I like having different colored Sharpies. I also have a Metro card that still has money on it. Don't get rid of your Metro cards, though I think they're going to make them paperless soon. Ugh. And then in the back here, I actually keep, like, paperwork and all my notebooks so those just stay in the back behind the acrylics and then turning over here we have my actual vanity let's real quick go over my lighting setup so when i film i keep my camera on a tripod right in front of the ring light so i have this light it's an led panel on right over here it's just on a regular tripod as well i have that on I have the ring light on. I actually have another lamp that lives in the corner right here and I turned that on as well. It's actually over here giving me light for this video. <laughs> but as you can see, the heads are all adjustable. So whenever I film, I just adjust the heads towards me and then towards behind me to light up back there. And then I have my lighting for my videos. I also have a mirror over here that lights up, but I don't use that when I'm filming just because a, it's not strong enough, and B, it's like too close to my face to really do a good job of lighting me. One thing I did learn, because I did make the mistake of having my lights too close to me when I was first filming and trying to get lighting right, you really want to have your lights pushed back. You should have your lights about as far back as the average person would be if they were talking to you, like in normal conversation. So the light right there and then the ring light being that far back is perfect. Okay, so I just removed my ring light from the shelf right there. I just have two nails that I nailed in right there and then the ring light just hangs from it perfectly. On this top shelf, all the way to the left, I have a mini version of my brush cleaner, which I use that one to bring downstairs and clean my brushes. And then I use the big bottle from the other side of my room to just refill it whenever it gets low. Over here, I have all of my brushes. So my eye brushes are in these two containers to the left. And then inside that black Morphe case, I have all of my face brushes. The eye brushes are all in these clear containers and they have rice on the bottom, so they just kind of stick right in. What I do when I'm getting ready in the morning, I just pull all of my brushes out like this. I pull my big container down. See if I can open this with one hand. There we go, got all the face brushes right here, and then eye brushes, and then I set my mirror up, and then I get ready. And then I like it because when I'm done, I can just put them all back on the shelf and clear up my desk space. So, they all fit perfectly right there. Over here, I have a couple of hand creams because I can't get enough of hand creams. I have really dry skin, and I need to, like, constantly moisturize. I keep a Fix Plus right here. This is the rose-scented one. I have a giant bottle from Scandinavia, the makeup finishing spray. And then in another little clear container right here, I keep my Pan Matte palette so it's always out and ready to go. I keep a giant face brush from Morphe that won't fit in the black container. I have a little like product scooper that you can use to get out like the last bit of foundation or the last bit of something out of a jar so you're really using all of it. I have a nail file and then I have a fan. It's really cute. It was like a couple of bucks. I got it at World Market and I use this whenever I spray setting spray and I use it to dry my face. Down here on my little like cake plate I have most of my everyday makeup. So in this little container right here I have the foundations that I'm really reaching for most often. Another foundation, this one's from Chantecaille. I have a couple of samples. I have a couple of samples that I'm currently working on. A little face puff from Flower Beauty. And then my acne treatment mask. I use this almost every night before I go to bed. So I keep it out in the open so I don't forget to use it. In the actual acrylic, I have 
in the top drawer all the mascaras that i'm using i keep my glitter glue in here i have the uh, wet and wild mega length the Chantecai mascara a mark jacobs mascara this is the nyx glitter glue this is an anastasia beverly hills brow gel this is the essence mascara and then i have two brow like tinted brow gels from ulta i love these so much i bought two because i didn't know what color really looked best on me i use the darker one but i am really feeling a darker almost black brow recently and then down here in the bottom drawer i have i don't know if you can see it underneath here that's the take home the bronze bronzer from the balm i have my hourglass powder i have my abh dip brow that's my mac paint pot and soft ochre and then i have my two makeup revolution concealers so that's kind of like my everyday like reach for section moving down here in this container i'm actually keeping the majority of the products for my new project pan these are all of my drop 10 by summer products so i keep them all in here if you haven't seen that video i'll go ahead and i'll link it up in the cards but just to remind myself to actually use these products i keep them in this little jar not jar i keep them in this little container right here at the front of my desk scoot you over behind that on the shelf i have all the palettes that i'm currently reaching for i like to switch these up on a weekly basis just to see if i can get some more use out of my collection i have the Too faced sweet peach palette i have the abh soft glam palette i have the tarte clay play palette i'm really hoping to use this as my next pan that palette I have the Anastasia Glow Kit. This is the Sugar Glow Kit. The Sugar Glow Kit right there. And then in the very back, I have one of my Z palettes with a whole bunch of Viseart shadows, also some Davina shadows. I go over all of them in depth in my single eyeshadow collection video, which I'll go ahead and throw up in the cards as well. Next door, I have a blush kit from Anastasia that I found at Marshalls for $19.99. So those are the colors right there. I'm really trying to get more use out of blush and get more comfortable with blush. So I am keeping the blush kit right there to remind me. I also have the Zodiac palette from BH Cosmetics A. I love this palette. And B, it, it looks gorgeous. Like I love having it out on display. I love having my palettes out on display, if you couldn't tell. Over in this container right here, I have the entire Kylie Cosmetics Weather Collection. I've been testing this out for weeks. I've used all the products and I'm keeping them all together so that I can do my full review on them. I'm going to be filming that in the next day or so and I hope to have that up in the next week. I really wanted to give it a full review. I don't want to just do a first impression, especially because this, this stuff is expensive. <laughs> Um, but I am putting a lot of work into it. I'm excited about the video and it's coming up soon. And then the last thing right over there, I have my Ready Player One eyeshadow palette. I also did a whole video on this palette as well. If you want to see it, I'll throw that up in the cards. Ultimately, I was a bit disappointed in the palette as well as the movie. But I think it actually looks really gorgeous, especially with the Zodiac palette. So I keep them on display together right there so that was my vanity tour guys thank you so much for watching i don't want this to come across as braggy or you know entitled i just really wanted to show you my setup show you how i keep and organize all of my products and i want to go ahead and throw in right now some pictures of the evolution of my vanity because this did not happen overnight this was years of trying products, years of collecting products. I've basically been collecting makeup since January of 2015. And I'm really happy with my setup now. And I just, I feel happy whenever I get to sit down and do my makeup. And I think that's the most you could really ask for out of a room and out of a setup. So let's go ahead and throw in some pictures of how my makeup collection and my vanity used to look.
So as you can see from the photos, this did take some time. I didn't just go out and buy all of this in one big haul. It did take a couple of years. This is my main hobby. Between this and books, this is really all I do. I love my YouTube channel. I love getting to be creative with all of my products. And I'm just happy that I got to share this with you today. So don't forget to like this and give it a big thumbs up if you did and you want to see any more products in the future. And I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye!